All right, what's up, YouTube? Today I wanted to show you a really easy method on how to root the Atrix 2 by AT&T. So uh, prior to rooting it, what you're going to want to do is go into your settings, go into applications, and make sure unknown sources is checked, and then go into development, oh, and make sure that USB debugging mode is checked. Uh, so that is basically all you need to do on the phone side of things at the moment. So I'm just going to turn off my screen real quick. So then next, what you're going to need to do is go into the link I'm going to give you in the description to XDA developers. And uh, in the middle of the first post, you're going to see this big gray box. And at the bottom, it's going to say Windows version. For the lazy, I made you a one-click. Uh, you're going to want to download that one-click exploit.zip. And it should go uh, in the download box or whatever in whatever browser you're using. So after that, what you're going to want to do is open it. And you're going to see this one-click exploit folder and you're going to want to uh, drag that onto your desktop like I have it right here or this method will not work. Uh, whenever you open it, uh, you should get into this uh, Windows Explorer screen. Then you're going to want to open runme.bat. That's a batch file which is just uh, a list of commands. So uh, you should get this and then you're going to want to plug in uh, plug in your phone. I'm already rooted and I cannot currently find a way to unroot. So uh, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate for it. I'm going to show you that I'm rooted though. So after you plug in your phone, uh, which is going to plug into your USB, you're going to want to hit any key to continue. And then, of course, it's not going to work because there's no phone plugged in at the moment. But uh, yeah, so after it's, it's going to be waiting for your device. So if you plug in your phone, it's going to run through some stuff and your phone is going to reboot, so don't worry. And then it should boot up and you will be rooted. Uh, I don't think there are any reported cases of bricks, but uh, it's always a possibility, so always be careful about that. And there's no will, uh, real way at the moment to recover your phone from that. So uh, just to prove to you that I am rooted on this Atrix 2, uh, there's Atrix 2 right there. 8 megapixels, so you know it's not the Atrix 4G or something. And uh, just to prove to you that I am rooted, uh, here's my super user app right here. Uh, is super user. It says super user and everything. So I'm not uh, lying to you or anything. This method is really easy to do. It took me about two or three minutes. And uh, yeah, so that's a really simple method on how to route the Atrix 2 with AT&T. Uh, I'm going to give you a link to all of this in the description below. But uh, just in case you need a little bit of extra help, that is how you do it. It's extremely simple and you can do a lot with root. So uh, that's just opening up our Atrix to a little bit more. And thanks for watching. And if you need any help on this, leave me a comment below and I'll try to get to you. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.